Hey guys, welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. So I was explaining about Scoop guys in my last video. And as I told you, Scoop is a utility to connect RDBMS to Hadoop. Okay. So for seeing the demo of Scoop, we need an RDBMS in our system. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how do you install MySQL in Ubuntu. Basically, I have already shown how to install MySQL in Windows machine in one of my video. But since we need MySQL here to demonstrate the working of Scoop, hence I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process of installing MySQL in Ubuntu as well, okay? So let us start guys. Now MySQL comes with Ubuntu itself. No need to download it. I have just written some of the commands here, okay? So first of all, we need to update our system in Ubuntu. Let me do that. Let me update this. It is asking for the password. Okay. So I'm giving the password and it is kind of updating. So what will happen is latest updates on the software side will come. Okay. So this part is done. Now, as I told you, MySQL is already there on the Ubuntu machine. Okay. So when I you say sudo apt MySQL install MySQL server, sudo apt install MySQL server, it will fetch that just like a Python package is fetched from the Conda or pip. Okay. Similarly, it will fetch it. Do you want to proceed? Yes. So now as you can see guys, it is downloading MySQL from some of the archive. Okay. So MySQL server will be downloaded and also MySQL client will be downloaded. Let us see what are the packages getting downloaded, reading databases, progress, some downloads. Okay. So unpacking my different MySQL dependencies and all these things. So let us see what is the message coming in the end. Update alternatives, setting up MySQL server. MySQL is running as process ID 4849, which means MySQL is uh, starting to run in the background. Okay. Processing triggers for man DB. Let us see 98% is completed. So it took some time guys and processing triggers for system MD processing triggers for libc bin. So this command ran completely the installation part. Now it's our duty to check if this has been installed correctly. Before that, we need to also set the password. Okay. Because this is database, right? So in database, we need a user ID and a password. Let me clear my screen. And what is the command for that guys? sudo mysql secure installation set password. Okay. So what I will do is I will set a password here. It is asking me what kind of password you want uh, in terms of security, a strong password, medium password, low password. So let me give for now a low password only zero. Okay. So what is my password greater than equals to eight. So let me say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. Estimated strength of the password is 50. Do you wish to continue with the password provided? So it is telling my password is not that strong, which is fine. Let me say yes. Remove anonymous user, any other key info. Yes. This allow root login remotely. So I will try to log in from the Hadoop environment, right? So I'm saying no. Okay remove test database and access to it no reload privileges table now yes okay so now i have given all, all the default things that is being asked let me see if i am able to launch my sql with that user and password okay so what i am saying here is launch my sql with root user and password i will provide now okay enter what is the password that i had set guys one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I had set. Okay. Enter. It says access denied for user root at local host. So uh, this is the command when I'm trying to launch my SQL for the very first time. So why don't I try with sudo? Let me write sudo here. Sudo means as a root, I want to run this command. Okay. Enter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight enter and as you can see my sql is being launched okay now we are inside my sql guys okay so whenever you are inside a database what are the things you can see you can just say so data bases 
you will see some of the databases of this i have created a dummy database among test we can create one more database here c r e a t e create data base among scoop demo just for example i can create this database some some spelling mistake is here data base okay so now if i say so databases i should be able to see this new database as well okay in this new database i can create as many tables as i want and those tables i can use in my scoop okay so i'm going to show you some of these things in my next video guys in this short video i just showed you how you can quickly install mysql in your machine so that you can run the scoop demo or scoop commands okay that i'm going to show you in my next video let me know in comments if you are failing if your installation is failing for any reason i'll see you all in my next video guys till then stay safe and take care